Physical Fitness Tests It is a set of measures designed to determine the pupil's or student's level of physical fitness. Physical fitness is divided into two major components, one is health-related components and other is skill-related components. The following are the objectives why we need to conduct physical fitness tests. Number one is to determine the level of fitness of our pupils or students. Two, to identify pupil or student strength and weaknesses for development and improvement. Three is to provide baseline data for selection of physical activities for enhancement of health and skill performance. Four, to gather data for the development of norms and standards. Lastly, to motivate, guide and counsel pupils or students in selecting sports for recreation, competition and lifetime participation. Prepare the following testing paraphernalia. First aid kit. Drinking water, bottled water. Individual score sheet. During the testing, prepare the following. Tape measure. Weighing or bathroom scale. L-square or cardboard. Stopwatch. Step box or stairs. Mat. Meter stick. Masking tape or chalk. Plastic ruler. Bundled rubber band. Testing for week 1. Let's define body composition. Body composition is the body's relative amount of fat to fat free mass. What is BMI or known as body mass index? It is a rough measure of body composition that is useful for classifying the health risks or body weight. It is also based on the concept that a person's weight should be proportioned to height. Here's the formula in computing your body mass index or BMI. Weight in kilograms divided by height in meters squared. Classification. If your BMI is below 18.5, you are underweight. If 18.5 to 24.9, you have a normal classification. Classification. 25.0 to 29.9 is overweight. 30.0 and above is obese. What is weight? Weight is the heaviness or lightness of a person. In computing the BMI, we will get the weight and height of the individual pupil or student. Here's the main equipment to be used in getting the weight. Weighing or bathroom scale calibrated properly. Here's the procedure for the performer. Wear light clothing before weighing. On bare feet, stand erect and still with weight evenly distributed on the center of the scale. For the partner. Before the start of weighing, adjust the scale to zero point. Record the score in kilograms. Scoring, record body mass to the nearest 0.5 kilograms. What is height? Height is the distance between the feet on the floor to the top of the head in standing position. In getting the height here's the equipment to be used. Tape measure or meter stick laid flat to a concrete wall. The zero point starts at the bottom of the floor. L-square or cardboard. An even and firm floor and flat wall. Let's do the following procedure. For the performer. Stand erect on bare feet with heels, buttocks and shoulders pressed against the wall where the tape measure or meter stick is attached. Place the L-square or cardboard against the wall with the base at the top of the head of the person being tested. Make sure that the L-square or cardboard when placed on the head of the pupil or student is straight and parallel to the floor. Record the score in meters. Scoring at record standing height to the nearest 0.1 cm. 1 meter equals 100 cm. To test the cardiovascular endurance of our pupils or students, they will perform the three-minute step test. But before that, let's define the words cardiovascular endurance. Cardiovascular endurance is the ability of the heart, lungs, and blood vessels to deliver oxygen to working muscles and tissues, as well as the ability of, of those muscles and tissues to utilize the oxygen. Endurance may also refer to the ability of the muscle to do repeated work without fatigue. 
Our pupils or students now will perform the three-minute step test. What is the purpose in performing the test? The purpose of this test is to measure your cardiovascular endurance. Here's the needed equipment. Step. Height of step. Elementary, 8 inches. Secondary, 12 inches. Stopwatch. Metronome sets at 96. Before the actual testing, count your pulse beat for 10 seconds, multiply it by 6. Procedure for the performer. Position at least one foot away from the step or bench. At the signal go, step up and down the step or bench for 3 minutes at a rate of 24 steps per minute. One step consists of 4 beats that is up with the left foot, count 1, up with the right foot, count 2, down with the left foot, count 3, down with the right foot, count 4. Immediately after the exercise, sit down. Locate your pulse and wait for the signal to start the counting. Don't talk while taking the pulse beat. Count the pulse beat for 10 seconds, multiply it by 6. For the partner. As the student assumes the position in front of the step, signal, ready and go, start the stopwatch for the 3 minute step test. After the test, allow the performer to locate his or her pulse in 5 seconds. Give the signal to count the pulse beat. Let the performer count his or her pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. Scoring, record the 60 second heart rate after the activity.